sources such as gold, semi-precious stones, and all sorts of stone for sculpture and architecture. Not to mention the craftsmen who fashioned them into some of the most distinctive works of art the world has ever known. So please, join me now and learn all about Tutankhamun and the golden age of the pharaohs. Our story begins with a discovery that is unique in modern history. When British archaeologists stumbled upon the final resting place of King Tutankhamun in 1922, it was the first and only time in modern history that the sealed pharaoh's tomb had ever been found. The treasures uncovered in the tomb's four chambers captivated the world. One room almost appeared like a wall of solid gold. There were games for the king to play. And things to help him in the afterlife, including ostrich feather fans to keep him cool. And one even shows the hunt the king led to secure the ostriches. Every item in the tomb displayed the skills of master craftsmen, refining their art to sublime levels the better to serve their king on his journey into the afterlife. The thinking of afterlife built ancient Egypt, built Egypt in my opinion. Without that, you will never see the pyramids. Without the afterlife, you will never see these great artifacts that you are seeing in this exhibit. It is the belief from the afterlife who made everyone in ancient Egypt to work for the national project. The national project was building a pyramid or building a tomb.